Okay, so Dogs, the sequel, what have we got? We are testing myths on how to beat a sniffer dog. You know, I've always wanted to test that. Yeah, you and the fans, because the website is full of suggestions on how to get contraband past these dogs that have been trained to detect it. Cool. But she's not a sniffer dog. Yeah, it's the best I could do at such short notice. <laughs> By sniffer dogs, they mean the ones trained to snuffle your suitcase for something illicit. So to kick off this myth, let's see if and how it all works. Both parties agree that this interspecies get-together should be outdoors, and the nearest thing we have to a backyard is the bomb range. Now, normally when we come up here, we're blowing something up, but today we're going to be playing with dogs detecting dogs to be exact and they're some of the best in the country now we're not allowed to tell you what they are trained to find but we are going to be able to show you exactly how good they are at finding stuff almost any breed of dog can be trained for detection but bigger is better in case things turn nasty compared to bloodhounds well the skill set is slightly different so what's the difference between a detecting dog and a tracking dog mm -hmm. for a detection dog uh, they're they're looking for a specific substance for a tracking dog, such as the bloodhound. They're actually looking for a human scent. Now, how do you train these dogs to sniff out a certain, you know, contraband? What we do is we introduce them with an odor, and once they indicate on on the odor, we teach them to sit down. And then there's there's a reward that comes along with that. It could either be food or a toy. No cheating. And that's pretty much the same incentive scheme we use with Tori. But these special agents have a talent no man will ever come close to matching. So to put these contraband sniffing dogs to the test, we need some contraband. Now this is a material that they're trained to sense, but we are not at liberty to reveal exactly what it is. And when I smell it, all I smell is paper. Let's see how the dogs do. Now it's not that we doubt that they're good at their job, but before we try to bamboozle these dogs with mythical ways to defeat them, we do need to see one in action. All right, so I got the contraband. I'm gonna go over here where there's all these old vehicles. There'll be a lot of different smells, gas. Uh, I see some horse trailers. I'm gonna put it near there. Maybe the, the scent of the horse might throw the dog off. Rest assured that the mystery material packed in the envelope is legal. Accepting the challenge is sniffer dog Buck and his trusty sidekick, Ken. I think he's distracted. So am I. All right, let's see how good those dogs are. So the search for the substance begins. And remember, all Grant could smell was the paper it was wrapped in. He is very focused. After checking the containers. He's working hard. Sure is. And the pallets. The dog hones in on the horse trailer. And he's smelling a lot more than manure. For Ken, it was never in doubt but the boys have just realized how tough a task they've set for themselves. Man, these dogs are good. Meantime, Carrie's researching just why they're so good with a man who definitely knows one end of a dog from the other. This is probably the most finely tuned organ in the entire body of the dog. I mean, look at this. We've got a flexible positioner here. <laughs> sucks up lots of uh, lots of air and gets it back to that olfactory sense. We think that probably a third of their brain is dedicated to the nose, okay? Whereas in you and I, it's a tiny, tiny little bit. So let's look at the bright side. We should have brains to spare to outsmart the sniffer dog, right? So these dogs really are living up to their job descriptions. True, but there still are a bunch of mythical techniques to put them off the scent. Right, I mean, we could try distracting these dogs. You know, maybe confuse them somehow or get them disinterested. And then they're simply masking the scent with something more overpowering or odor neutralizing. Okay, well, let's try the second technique because that's the most obvious. You have something smelly? Cover it with something smellier. <laughs> With a promising plan, all we need is a sizable venue. Wait until you see this place, you're not gonna believe it. There is no way the dogs are gonna find the contraband in here. Oh my gosh, you guys were not kidding. Oh my God, indeed. The Prop Co-op is a 17,000 square foot warehouse. Each of its 10 aisles is 200 feet long, and it houses, get this, 30,000 separate items. <laughs> But there's more to this challenge than just hide and seek. 
We're not just hiding our contraband in this massive warehouse, but we're also going to try to disguise them in really strong scents. So we've picked out the five most commonly known mythical deterrents to a detection dog. We have coffee, we have peanut butter, citronella, perfume, and bleach. We'll see if any of these really strong scents can fool our dogs. Carrie kicks off by packing the same contraband we used before inside a canister full of coffee. Sniffer dog Rex and his good friend Jason turn up to take the test. Hi. Hi. While Grant finds a really obscure place to hide the stash. Perfect. We're going to be watching you remotely from a screening area. You ready to go? Yep. Okay, go for it. Rex, let's go. With no clue as to where to start sniffing. Good boy. Rex sets off with a camera latched onto his collar. Oh my god, dog cam is awesome. <laughs> Very <laughs> focused, yeah. Okay, I'm getting seasick. And after just a few minutes of cruising the aisles. And he's honing in on it. I mean, he is like in the aisle where the contraband is. He hasn't left, he keeps going back. It's hard to believe that our secret substance, packed inside coffee and sealed in a plastic container, emits any odor at all. Oh, oh, he sat down. He, he, sat, he, down. he sat down. That's a signal, right? <laughs> yep. That's, he wait, found it. it. There it is. He found there it. There it is. Oh, oh. Woo! Go, go, buddy. Go. And he found it inside of five minutes. This is just what they didn't expect. So it looks like coffee is not strong enough to distract him from finding the contraband. Which is really strange because coffee is the most famous of all of the mythical, uh, you know, scent disguises. I mean, you always hear about coffee. Yeah, but you know what? Didn't beat him. Coffee busted. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next test is peanut butter. Now, I think this might work a little bit better than coffee because it's a lot denser and thicker and might be able to conceal the scent. To further confound our canine crime fighter, Carrie slips the container inside a filing cabinet. Okay, that ought to be good. But now, like Grant, I need to spread my scent all around so that there's no trail for the dog to get to. So with the aisles reeking of eau de carry, Rex goes to work. Look at him. He's just going crazy, looking all over. He's looking for one cent in a warehouse full of things. It's virtually a needle in a haystack. Where'd you hide it? I hid it in the file cabinet on aisle three. Uh, you'll never find it. Well, you wouldn't think so when the scent he's pursuing is submerged in peanut butter hidden inside a drawer. But Rex has other ideas. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Oh, you got it! Peanut oh. butter busted. For a second there, I thought it was actually going to work. So the team keeps trying to discombobulate the dog, but neither masking the target smell with a strong perfume. He found oh. it! Oh. Or bleach worked well enough to rattle Rex. Oh. How the heck do they do that? All right, next. Uh, next is citronella. Uh, That's almost as bad as the perfume. It's worse. And it's looking like Tori just might be right. There's no time limit set, but the longer Rex takes, the more likely it is that he's lost the scent. Time after time, they pass by the package. He's really close right now. He's, this is right in the area. And just as they're thinking they foiled the sniffer dog, Rex puts his nose right in it. Yes. He found it. So hiding a scent with another scent, busted. I'm thinking busted. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to ramp this up. So it's time for a plan B, which hopefully means driving a highly trained dog to distraction.